Okay, so this is the first part of the water tutorial. Um, what I've done is I've made the base and I showed you that on the photographs. So essentially what I have here is I have it's a natural stone. This, this and this were made by me out of modeler's clay. And um, I used this method to make markings in it, let it dry it. Then I spray the whole thing black. Then I went over, as in the other video, with RC417, which is off-white matte, to get the highlights. Okay, so what I've done here is I've put a lighter colour here at the edge. Um, a kind of a tan to a brown colour moving in, and then the darker parts will be left black, the original black, um, to signify some kind of depth or something. The other important part is that the white bits here, around here, are marking or let me know where the foam is going to be. So what I'm reckoning is by this that the water is coming in this way. It's going to splash over this, it's going to hit here, come back in, come down here, splash here, come down and come out this way and this way. I'm going to have splashes coming up over this rock, over this rock, here and in here. And the reason I put that rock in was to show you that you can use natural stone or you can make your own. Alright, so I'm going to show you what I used for the tan area here. I used Citadel Armageddon Dust. I'm going to use that because that's the one I have. For the darker parts I used Humbrol 160 which is German Camel Red Matte. You can use any colour you want, brown. And then again for here it was the RC417. Um, when it's all done, and I'm going to do the highlighting on the waves, I'm going to use oil colour, which is white. I'm leaving it there to get some of the oil out of it. The other important part is when you're actually doing the painting, don't paint in straight lines like that. It won't work properly. You get your paint on the end, and you do this. When you do that, it'll all blend much better, and when the, when the water effect goes over, it'll be, it'll be much better, rather than just having straight lines. What you're going to need to do it is you're going to need a couple of paint brushes, stiff ones, the cheapest ones you can find. You're going to need a couple of um, coffee stirrers, that again Starbucks or wherever. And for the water, you're going to need that, which is all-purpose interior uh, silicone sealant. I got this quite cheaply in a pound store. This is Unibond, but the most important thing about this, and it has to be this, is paintable. If it's not paintable, you're going to have a problem at the end, so make sure that it's paintable and uh, you'll have no problems. Otherwise, when you go to paint it, the paint will start to run. Okay, that's it for this part of it. The next part, we'll be doing the actual water. Okay.